I wanted to uh, I wanted to make a video about all the video game systems I've owned um, in my life. So uh, I'm gonna start with this was the first system I ever got. It was the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. Way I got this way back in the early '90s. Then my dad got the Game Gear for me in 1992. After you know I got all always in uh, I think I was in first grade, first grade or kindergarten. I can't remember. Uh, then I got the Sega Genesis. Um, I really wanted the Sega. I was a big Sega fan back then, so uh, my dad got me the Sega Genesis the next year. Then my older brother got the Super Nintendo. Uh, you know, then the Super Nintendo actually was kept in good shape. Um, uh, you know, because usually they turn yellow as time goes on, but this one remained intact. Then the N64. So I really wanted a Sony PlayStation, but my younger brother wanted a Nintendo 64. So my dad took the side of my younger brother and got a Nintendo 64. And the reason why my dad got the Nintendo 64 because he thought it, the Nintendo 64 is because he thought it would be better because it has 64 graphics and. Uh, the Sony PlayStation only had 32 graphics, so I liked um, I liked the Nintendo. As time went on, I um, I uh, I grew uh, you know I I grew fond of it. I liked it, uh, but I always wanted a PlayStation, but I never I never got it. As uh, this was like when I was in middle school, so when I uh, when I entered high school, my interest in video games started to decline a little bit, so I just didn't care. Um, then my younger brother got the uh, Game Boy, then he like he didn't care about it, so I uh, he gave it to me for free. Then of course uh, we have the Super Scope, that was something uh, me and my brothers would play on uh, Super Nintendo. Then came the Dreamcast, um, you know, uh, we got the Dream, I mean I got the Dreamcast, I really loved it. Um, you know, the internet connection, it was just too early for the internet connection for that, so, uh, the Dreamcast was, uh, something that, um, I don't know, I, I, it was a good system, I liked it, but it was too early, it needed more time to develop, so, uh, you know, my, uh, my favorite game on that was probably, uh, Crazy Taxi and the Sonic game, I, um, I can't remember what the Sonic game, what it's called, but the, the Sonic game on that was uh, pretty nice. Then came the Xbox, um, and you know, of course, Halo and Halo 2 were like the big uh, games for, for Xbox. So, I mean, Xbox, I didn't really play it that much. Um, you know, I played it for like six months, and I just forgot about it. Uh, you know, I only, uh, I only bought it, uh, we only bought it just to play Halo in Halo 2. Then came the PlayStation 3, or I'm sorry, then I got the PSP, which was a portable PlayStation, so I, I, I really liked it, um, you know, but in like uh, around 2008, I stopped playing it, um, you know, I just, uh, um, I mean, I just, uh, I stopped playing video games after that, I think this was the last system I got in the 2000s, then in 2014, I, I finally got a PlayStation 3, um, you know, and my interest in video games just, uh, just continued and, uh, or my interest in video games continued and I started buying more and more video games. Um, uh, you know, uh, in my, uh, there were times in my life when I had an anti-video game, uh, mentality, you know, I thought video games were just like a waste of time or whatever. So I stopped, uh, I stopped, uh, caring about them or, uh, playing them, etc. Then, um, you know, all my friends were like, yeah, you got to get a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360. So I just, I chose PlayStation 3 and I, I think I made the right choice. Uh, because back then I only had like, uh, I only had money for one system. Um, you know, I wasn't working back then. Uh, so I only had, uh, money. I was, I was going to school back then. I wasn't working. So I only had money for one system. So I just got the PlayStation 3 and I, I really love the PlayStation 3. I wish I got it sooner, honestly. Um, 2014 was kind of too late to, to, to get it. But, uh, anyways, uh, this is just my video game, uh, collection over the years. You know, I've had, uh, I've had a lot of good memories, especially with Mortal Kombat. That was like one of my favorite games of all time. One of the first games I ever played. And you see that Sonic 2, um, I never, uh, 
uh, I never uh, unwrapped that, or I never uh, I never played that on Game Gear. <laughs> I just kept it in the shrink wrap. I'm sure it's 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 worth uh, I'm sure it's worth quite a bit of money because it's still shrink wrapped. But uh, you know, these are all the games that I used to play on the systems. Um, you know, my favorites being you know Turtles in Time for Super Nintendo. Um, I think that's like the greatest Ninja Turtles game. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2 was another one of my favorites. Then Halo, Halo 1, and Halo 2, um, and The Last of Us, uh, you know, that's still shrink-wrapped. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that, uh, that Last of Us is still, uh, shrink-wrapped. I never, I got two copies, uh, one just to keep it in shrink wrap and two just to play it. Uh, you know, the, the reason why I never opened it is because, uh, you know, I'm hoping that one day it'll shoot up to a lot of money, so I'm just saving it for that occasion. Um... You know, and then uh, GoldenEye was one of my favorites for, uh, no, I, I think it's, GoldenEye is like my favorite game for 64. Um, you know, I, I really love that. Then I then uh, Sonic, then Incredible Hulk, uh, that was a good game, the Incredible Hulk. Then I, I got a Sega controller that I kept in the box, and Super Godzilla uh, for Super Nintendo. That's another good game for uh, Super Nintendo, um, you know, NBA Jam TE uh you know so you know so, so these are all the games you know i used to play on like the old systems and it's just it's amazing how how far video games have evolved into because now they're like media hubs where they're like media devices where you can like play uh netflix or hulu or go on youtube or browse the internet but there was a time when video game systems were just that video game systems they would just play whatever cartridge or disc you would put in there uh you would just they would just get to the point and play the game and those were good times uh, these are times you know we won't get back uh so you know if you were, if you were born in the um earlier to mid uh 90s then you you know you know what I'm talking about by the uh, the magic of these systems and blowing into the cartridges and playing the the game and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So the you know the '90s were like a magical time for for me because you know it it was a, it was the era of the uh, of the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo and the N64, uh, you know, uh, and the Game Boy, et cetera. So and then like video games evolved since then, but. Uh, you know, we've come a long way. Um, we gamers have literally come a long way. So this is just my uh, video game collection, and uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, what what were your memories uh, uh, playing video games? Um, you know, so I preserved all these, and, you know, I'm quite proud of it. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. More videos are up ahead.